Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena, episode 102 for Wednesday, June 15th, 2016. Notifications. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by Automatic, the connected car company that improves your driving and integrates your car into your digital life. Visit Automatic.com for a limited time 30% discount and free shipping on your Automatic adapter. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. Ever since Lollipop, I'd say that Android has kind of evolved when it comes to how it handles and presents notifications. Many of the things that third-party notification apps were designed to do in the past to kind of work around notification shortcomings have been integrated into the OS, and it's easy to live life with Android's stock presentation. But sometimes it's nice to change things up in the same way it's nice to move the furniture in your living room around for a fresh look. And sometimes an app takes what we know of notifications and turns them into something entirely different different. So today, I have three apps that check those boxes, bringing new functionality to your device in the process. Let's take a look at this week's roundup. I get a lot of notifications all the time. My notification tray is filled with them, usually because I don't like to clear all. I use my notification tray almost like a checklist, only removing an item when I'm ready to acknowledge that it exists and either act on it or dismiss and move along. With Boomerang notifications, I can save my notifications on a case-by-case basis for later. From the notification tray, I don't see any real difference here when Boomerang is installed and running. Things look normal. Everything looks pretty much the way you expect, but when I go to dismiss a notification, a new entry is then going to appear immediately after, thanks to Boomerang. I'm asked if I want to save that notification with instructions to expand for more actions, as you can see there. If I do nothing, the notification uh, will time out on its own and there's no sign that it was ever there, so you can kind of ignore it. But if I choose to expand, I'm given those two options here that you can see. First, I can save that notification. Then when I want to refer to that notification later, all I have to do is hop into the Boomerang app where it sits in the list waiting for me to do whatever it is I plan on doing when I saved it. The other action is save and reminder. This saves it to Boomerang, as you saw, but it also gives me controls to be reminded of that notification at a later time. Now, on into the settings, I can restrict Boomerang to whatever apps I choose, so not every single notification that I receive gets this expanded functionality, if that makes things easier. Super useful, though. Find Boomerang notifications in the Play Store for free. How about instead of using the incoming notifications as my checklist, I literally use the notification shade as a checklist for things I need to do. Notification Reminder is an app that does just that. I'm going to go ahead and launch the app and I'm immediately presented with this quick note page. Here, I'm going to drop in that thing I really need to remember to do, whatever it happens to be. The top text field will be the header, more or less, with the bottom text field being expanded information. I can assign an icon if I want to get all fancy uh, to that reminder, spruce things up a little bit. And if I want this reminder to stick around without the ability to dismiss it, I can tap to make it persistent, and it won't go anywhere. Now, under Schedule, I can also assign a date and a time for that notification reminder to appear for me so it stays out of the way until I actually need it later. And when it's all set up, I tap Notify. It's now saved and ready to appear when I scheduled it to, if I scheduled it for anything. See, there it is. You can see it right there. And notice, even if I try to swipe it away, it stays put 
thanks to the persistent flag that I tagged. Now on that notification, I can expand for more information to show a little snooze button for pushing it off for later. I can tap to mark it as red or just simply delete it from existence for good. Notification reminder is a single purpose way to turn your notification shade into an action list. So check it out for yourself. Find notification reminder in the Play Store for free. Okay, this app is not a utility. It's not a time saver. It's not even that useful. But if you like popping bubbles, then you might get a kick out of notification bubbles. I went looking for something different from the pack, and I suppose this fits the bill. Notification bubbles is a live wallpaper that taps into your social accounts for one. I've synced it with my Twitter and Facebook accounts, but it also monitors my unread messages in Gmail, and it can connect to Instagram as well. And with that, any new notifications that arrive inside those accounts will now occupy a floating bubble in the background on my wallpaper. Think of it as someone sitting below the view of your phone, blowing bubbles filled with notifications. If you want to explore that notification, you simply tap the bubble, it pops, complete with optional sound effect, and takes you to that item for your action. But it doesn't only work with those accounts. You can assign contacts. I mean, well, they call them darlings and you end up putting their picture inside a heart-shaped bubble, uh, tapping those will instantly place a call or text to them. I'm trying to figure out why I chose this app again. Anyways, uh, tapping the to-do bubble takes you to a place inside the app to log something important. Incoming calls and text messages also occupy their own bubbles, and really, that's about it. Oh, except for a few cheesy themes like winter and Halloween neither of which applied to this time of year, but they're there for you when they do. But let's be honest, you aren't installing this app. It's quite simply the cheesiest app I've ever shown off on this show. Uh, so it has that going for it at least. Notification Bubbles is free with a $1.99 upgrade inside the app for expanded contacts integration, unlimited to-do bubbles, and visual tweaks. Find it or not in the Play Store right now. So the first two apps, Totally handy, worth installing. The last one, I, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it's, it's covered in a heavy layer of cheese. So if that's your bag, go for it. But seriously, I'm wondering, what was I thinking with that one? Anyways, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode, and that is Automatic. Chances are, if you have a car, it hasn't kept up fully with technology, and that's kind of the beauty of what Automatic is all about. It's a small adapter that turns any car into a connected car. You just plug the Automatic adapter into the same port that your mechanic uses to do things like diagnose engine problems, and it opens up a world of possibilities. I have it plugged into my vehicle, and it shows me you know, how much it costs for me to drive to the store or to drive to work. I actually find out, translated in terms you know, money to gas, how much it costs me to drive to work, and that's an eye-opening experience right there. Automatic works on nearly every car made after 1996. It takes just minutes to connect your car to your iPhone or your Android device uh, through Bluetooth. Is your check engine light on? Well, Automatic's can tell you what it means before you take your car into the shop. Automatic helps you keep track of your fuel mileage and allows you to set custom low fuel warnings so you're never stranded. You can get audio alerts uh, that signal when you want to ease off the gas and brake pedals. That's gonna help you save gas and avoid those high speeds. Automatic's performance data will actually help you keep track of your, you know, your driving stats as well as the people that you love. Maybe you have a teenager who's driving and you want to make sure that they're driving safely. You can do that. If you or your teenager need help fighting the urge to text while driving, Automatic can set your Android phone to do not disturb mode automatically and it'll also disable your keyboard if you want. So it takes away that possibility. Also, you can feel secure knowing Automatic is keeping your loved ones safe on the road with their 24-7 crash response feature. The Automatic Dashboard web app uh, gives you granular information, lets you export trips, so you can easily file business expenses with popular apps like Concur and Expensify. They have a commute analyzer that determines when you should leave for your destination and how you can save money by making your commute more efficient. The Automatic app platform, this is super powerful. It integrates with things like the Amazon Echo, Nest, Your Mechanic, FreshBooks, If This Then That for crazy possibilities and even more. And you can locate your parked car with the Automatic app on your Apple Watch or Pebble. There's no monthly fees here. No subscriptions are required. Automatic won't sell your data 
Automatic itself is normally $99.95, but for a limited time, if you visit automatic.com, uh, you can save 30% off your automatic adapter and receive free shipping. That's automatic.com, and we thank them for their support. All right, up next, a new app that ties into today's theme uh, that integrates with the messaging-related notifications that you receive on your device. Let's take a look. This week's big app is a notification app, thankfully, because that's what we're doing here today, but it's designed to work almost primarily with messaging, email, and select social apps. It's called Notify. And it's a colorful, materially designed notification bubble that's going to appear when a supported app receives a message, a notification. With this demonstration right here, you can see that a floating bubble appears with the notification inside that floating window on the side. The bubble appears over the top of whatever I happen to be doing. That allows me to fire off a reply right then, send it away, and then continue on with my own activity. Now, when I hit the settings, I'm only shown the settings controls for the supported apps that happen to be installed on my device at that time, but there are many supported apps that you don't see here. I can activate and deactivate any of those, or I can jump into their individual settings to tweak the appearance of the bubble contents, uh, but also system settings, like whether I want the screen to turn on when that particular notification appears, or how I want that bubble to tie into the notification bar. So for example, dismissing an entry from my notification shade would then remove the bubble from the screen and so on. Let's test this out with a Hangouts message. And sure enough, the bubble appears for my quick reply. I can block that conversation from appearing with that block button if I don't want to see any more of those conversations in the floating bubble. And I can also expand that notification to show in a full screen view inside the originating app. Notify is free to get started, but for a 99 cent in-app upgrade, you can get access to custom coloring and removal of the ads inside the app. Notify can be found in the Play Store right now. Now, Notify is super new, just released a couple of weeks ago, so forgive a few bugs, uh, but it's a great start and floating bubble fans will be in heaven. I know you're out there. I hear from you guys uh, in our email. That's arena at twit.tv. I love hearing from you guys. Send me all of your favorite app picks. I keep them in a doc and I bring them into the show over time. And I appreciate your help on that. Uh, we also have a subreddit at androidapparena.reddit.com where you can offer your suggestions there. The show plays live every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific following tech news today at twit.tv slash live. And the new episode will always appear later that evening in the feeds and on the show page at twit.tv slash arena. All righty, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena.